One of the popular cases for Nimble Streamer is to get a UDP stream with MPEG-TS sent over SRT to another distant location where it's received by another Nimble instance. There it's transmogged into UDP multicast to deliver MPEG-TS to multiple viewers simultaneously. In this video we show that use case. In our example we will first generate a UDP MPEG-TS stream with two programs using FFmpeg. This will be done on AWS Virtual Server where we have a Nimble Streamer instance. That Nimble instance will process MPEG-TS input streams. Then Nimble will send an output SRT stream with both programs to our second Nimble server on bare metal. It will receive SRT and will produce UDP multicast for viewers in a local network. That multicast will be tested using VLC. Let's log into WMS Panel for Nimble Streamer setup. We have two Nimble Streamer instances already installed on our servers. We can check that by clicking on Server Details via Servers List. Each server needs to have the Nimble Streamer SRT package installed. Now we go to Livestream Settings for our AWS server instance. We use the MPEG TS EN tab to add a UDP listener which will receive a UDP MPEG TS stream. Specify any available port you like while leaving the IP address as four zeros to listen to all interfaces. Now let's log into AWS Server and launch FMPEG command to generate our UDP stream with two programs. You can see our incoming stream setting now indicate two programs in the stream. Now we need to set up outgoing streams for each received program. These streams will be used for sending them further via SRT. For each added output stream, we choose video and audio source streams along with selecting respective programs. Before moving forward, let's check the output streams. This is how we'll make sure our programs are processed into the output. Going to live streams menu, we can see there are two streams available. Let's play each of them via the HLS protocol to see if the content is correctly routed from programs. Both streams are playing their expected programs. Now let's set up the SRT output stream to deliver from AWS to our second server. Go to the UDP streaming tab in live stream settings and click on add SRT setting. Use push mode and enter the remote IP address of the second server with the proper port. Now we specify the source application and stream name from those which we have just created. We recommend specifying max BW parameter to zero and set latency parameter to a value which would cover potential losses. We use 2000 milliseconds in case we have large packet loss. After you save settings, they will be applied within a few seconds. Now we'll set up the second server to receive SRT and generate UDP output. Use MPEG-TS in tab to click on add SRT stream. Set listen mode, use any local port you like and set local IP to four zeros to listen on all interfaces. Once the settings are applied, we'll see the incoming SRT stream with two programs. Just like we did for our first server, let's add two outgoing streams, one for each program in the input stream. Please notice that we specify index instead of stream PID. Now let's check the received streams using the output HLS streams generated as a result. Both streams are working fine. The last setup step is to generate UDP multicast output. Go to UDP streaming and click on add UDP setting. Here we create multicast for our first program. First we enter multicast IP address and port. You can also set network card for UDP streaming. In addition to other settings, you may specify max rate for better UDP delivery. Read the article in the video description about this. Now we specify source application and stream name from those which we have specified as our output. We do the same for the second program, but with different IP and port. Now let's check our multicast with VLC. Here we specify our first program IP and port. It plays fine. Here's the second stream. 
it's fine as well. So we have shown the setup of the delivery chain, which we described in the beginning. You can modify it as you need for your scenarios. Please find links to related documentation in the description of this video.